Number eight is Castle Cove House. It's no surprise that Castle Cove has made the final. Uh, you know, when you look at the angles of the exterior, it is just a beautiful piece of concrete architecture. This home was six years in design and another six years in construction, but it was well worth the wait. Gerard, it's a very dramatic building, but it's really lovely the way it sits in the landscape. It's, uh, this tree is really the centre of it all. Um, uh, literally and figuratively, as it were, the, the tree um, was something that the clients really were interested in retaining, gathering around on site, and we said, well, why don't we literally gather the building around the tree? So it's always quite funny when you bring people here because they'll see photos of the house and see this soaring concrete cantilever. Um, and then you turn up and you go, oh, it's actually quite recessive in the landscape, isn't it? And I think to us that was very important that if we were going to really be part of the landscape, there's something about putting rectangular floor slabs and walls in which mean you're building no matter what you do. So here, the idea is everything is slightly twisting, slightly turning, slightly rolling. So I think you really generally do have a sense that you are just in the site. You're definitely not at any point opening a door and going into a house. Um, it's, it's part of the site. We've always felt, for the work that we do, that corridors are lost space. And with this house, the opportunity to use the corridor as a, as a device or a method for connecting you back to the landscape was really important. The corridor that sits to the front of the house is orienting you to the landscape and it's bent around this beautiful scribbly gum in front of us. In, in a way, it's got a very sheltering quality and it's almost like you're in a, a rock shelf. Yeah, exactly. And so the timber that we've woven into the spaces is, is uh, a way of holding people in an intimate moment. So it allows us to handshake between the big sculptural um, qualities of the concrete and then bring you back into a more intimate um, way of living. It really has a cave-like quality, like it scoops out, like, yeah. it's, like it's part of a natural formation. Absolutely, and, and that's the, the sculptural quality of the concrete. It was really important, that's where um, Pascal Gomes McNabbs from Melbourne was an amazing collaborator on this from the uh, interior design point of view, where she became a part of our practice um, for the period of this project to deliver all the beautiful qualities um, that uh, Fiona, the client, was looking for um, in terms of an intimate living experience. Yeah, wow, this is a real bathroom. Absolutely. This is one of the most opulent moments in the house and it's an amazing way to start your day. And we're getting into this very deep bath. Yes, well this, is, um, this was always a, um, a request for the client was to have a onsen, Japanese onsen uh, bath. And it gave us that beautiful moment um, to connect as well to the Australian landscape uh, through this big uh, pivot window. Obviously, it was a very long project. In many respects, I think it was a positive experience to have that time because it gives you the ability to problem solve things as you go and you actually do get a better result because it's not rushed. As well as your relationship with the architect, you also brought on an interior designer. With Pascal coming on board, she uh, took it in a different direction which created more intimacy within the structure. Uh, Chris and Gerard Terroir, they worked extremely well together and um, I think that's why we've got this fantastic result. Given time, this house will change again because it's now all about the gardens and it fitting into the landscape with the greenery around it. I think if you come back in five years, you'll see a completely different transformation here. It's very easy to build a concrete bunker but with skill and artistry, concrete can be beautiful. The brilliant thing about this design is the way the home wraps around this magnificent gum tree. It really feels like living in nature. 